So when people talk, they should go research the numbers of back then and then research my numbers and compare. I'm, I'm putting that together just so I can show the public because now it's all about showing people that everybody been lying this entire time doing a smear campaign. So now I'm going to show them and then now you judge because y'all all judging, meaning people out there are judging off of hearsay, false allegations, and not facts. Get facts first and then make your, your judgment. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about the ghetto super bear. Tiffany Henier once again, okay? The news about this woman does not stop because it looks like the walls are closing in, guys. And I mean that. Like, I really do mean that. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. The walls are closing in on this woman as she is now officially, like officially under criminal investigation. And what do I mean by that? Because I've been reporting on this before. All of the reports surrounding the FBI's investigation into Tiffany Hanger wasn't her directly, but more so her associates, the um, township of Thornton and the village of Dalton, right? But they haven't been directly uh, investigating Tiffany Hanger up until now, and they are doing so by demanding receipts. You know, Tiffany Hanger claims that, hey, I have all the receipts, okay, all these allegations against me for financial mismanagement, I got the receipts. I hope she's ready to show the FBI these receipts. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henry, the People's Mayor. So, you guys doing a lot of snitching, and y'all went and got my site shut down, my Tiffany on the Move podcast, Tiffany Henry on the Move podcast. Well, it's said that when truth speaks, everybody gets scared and everybody gets the running. Well, just like I told you, if you want the tea, get it from me. And if you want to check me out, because I got other platforms, go to Spotify. And that way you'll see Tiffany Henry on the Move podcast. Yes, Spotify. And you can also go to um, Apple Podcasts because those are different outlets to view uh, all the content. And y'all asked me for the receipts, but I got the receipts right here on ice, like I always do. Y'all ask for it, and I'm about to deliver. I got episode after episode after episode. Just wait your turn. Yeah, your turn coming. Just wait. Y'all doing all that talking. Y'all doing all that lying. And I told y'all, stop lying on me before I start telling the truth on y'all. And that's what this is, true speech right here. Residents, community, nation, y'all gonna be shocked at the mess that's all around y'all. But I want to educate people um, in my delivery of Receipts that y'all thought I didn't have. <laughs> I always keep my receipts. I mean, I do a lot of talking or it may come out a little slower than norm, but I keep receipts. That way I can educate the world as what happens behind the scenes that y'all don't see. I don't like fake news because fake news tell you one-sided narratives. They don't tell you the truth. As you can see, you saw that first one. First one was lit, wasn't it? It was off the chain. And the problem I got is when they do it, it's cool. But when I do it, it's a problem. But this is how I see it in my head. Play the video. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Wow. Wow. That video is a godsend. It really is. Okay. I love that video because you got to be careful what you ask for, man. She said, I have the receipts. I got the receipts. I got everything that people are asking for. And now she's going to get an opportunity to show the FBI these receipts, right? To prove her innocence. Because again, she's officially under criminal investigation. We now know what these subpoenas are asking for that were most recently served uh, at the uh, township of Thornton, okay? So her name is on this. This is officially an investigation into her, not just those that are surrounding her, okay, or her entourage. No, no, no. They're actually looking into her. So without further ado, let's get into it. Fox 32 has obtained copies of the two federal subpoenas served on Thornton Township on Friday. And there are two big takeaways. Tiffany Henyard is clearly a target of the criminal investigation. And that investigation is growing. Well, overall, it tells me that the investigation is expanding. It's not just focusing on the city of Dalton. Former FBI agent Ross Rice says the subpoenas revealed the burgeoning scope of the federal criminal investigation into Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. 
One Sabina focuses entirely on Henyard, including two businesses she owns, a restaurant and a property management company, as well as Henyard's political fund and the charity bearing her name. It asks for all records, including personnel files, wage and tax statements, time and attendance, records of work performed, contracts, and checks written to cash. The mayor and the township supervisor, who are one and the same, appear to be the primary focus of the investigation. The second subpoena requests a kitchen sink of township records, including financial reports, budgets, payroll records, and ordinances covering credit card purchases, expense reimbursements, security details, and the use of vehicles. Yeah, so again, this is important because all of the things that FBI is looking at are related to the allegations against Tiffany Henry. Now, we all are familiar with allegations, for example, when it comes to her charity, okay? And the allegations that she's funneling uh, taxpayer money into her charity, okay? In which the Attorney General of Illinois has basically demanded that they stop soliciting donations and to file their taxes, right? To actually, you know, turn over financial documents in which she has refused to do, okay? And then you also have... Uh, the allegations of misuse of funds when it comes to taking these lavish trips, which are supposed to be on behalf of official business for the town. But yet she's staying at these super expensive hotels. They're eating out at these very expensive restaurants. I mean, they're just running up uh, the town's tab to pay for what clearly and obviously are vacations more so than actual business trips and then you know there was a lawsuit involving you know sexual misconduct of one of the village employees doing one of these trips i mean just all types of crazy stuff okay i mean you talk about her security detail and again allegations that she's misusing funds to funnel security for herself but not for the town as a whole okay the misuse of some of these vehicles as well too again all of the allegations that we know about this woman the FBI is looking into, right? They're demanding the receipts, right? So I hope that Tiffany Henry has these receipts, okay? She claims, I got receipts. Now it's time to turn them over. And, you know, unlike the Illinois Attorney General, you're not just going to be able to ignore the FBI, right? The FBI, you're not going to be able to just say, hey, I'm not going to respond. You're going to have to respond, right? Or else, again, there's going to be some consequences. But who knows, right? She has a couple of infinity stones of wokeness. She may be able to slither her way out of this. I'm not sure. I don't know. Mayor Officer Young put in for 303 water. Water. hours in a two-week like period. 303, 303 like hours. Fox 32 has reported like extensively like about Henyard's use of a police security detail, which police say has hampered their ability to fight crime. You need security to protect you from questions from reporters? The subpoena also asks for payments and credit card expenditures for a number of township employees, including Henyard's top lieutenant, Keith Freeman, some township trustees, and Henyard's boyfriend, who runs the township's youth violence prevention program. Hey, y'all, this is Mayor Tiffany Henyard, Supervisor Henyard, the people supervisor. The subpoena also focuses on township travel, including a story first reported by Fox 32 and the Illinois Answers Project about a trip Henyard took to Springfield in 2022 with Dalton and Thornton Township employees, ostensibly to raise money for a cancer charity in her name. We wondered who was paying for all of this, and so are the feds, who ask for records of municipal resources being used on behalf of friends of Tiffany Henyard, her political fund, and charitable organizations, including the Tiffany Cares Foundation, which involved a $10,000 donation of taxpayers' money made by the township. It's very broad in the scope. It's very broad in the number of people and entities they're asking uh, for records on. Um, so there must be some serious allegations of wrongdoing that they're trying to get to the bottom of. It's the second round of federal subpoenas. On April 20th, four FBI agents served a pair of subpoenas on the village of Dalton, asking for the personnel files of 29 employees. I was pleasantly surprised. Stephanie Wiedemann is a former township employee turned whistleblower who's been helping the FBI in its investigation. What do we want? Our township man! Over the weekend, she took part in a rally of Thornton Township residents calling on Henyard to resign. Wiedemann says the latest subpoenas are a welcome sign. I hope that the township finds a way to be able to 
recoup the damage that has been done. But I hope that the people that did the damage, I mean, there's repercussions for making bad decisions. Through a spokesperson, Henyard declined to comment about the subpoenas. The township has until May 20th to turn over all those records to a federal grand jury that's been impaneled to investigate. Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. Yeah, it's over, right? It's over. She's not going to just be able to ignore it. Um, she's going to have to respond. Uh, and I personally think, again, this is the beginning of the end, okay? And, um, you know, it's very rare in this country where you see corrupt Democrats actually get taken down. But like I told you guys before, I think that she's a sacrificial lamb. I think that she was just too overtly corrupt. I mean, she's a bad look for the Democrat Party, right? So I'm assuming that the Biden-led DOJ is, again, sacrificing her to say, hey, look, we're not politically corrupt. We just took down this corrupt black woman Democrat mayor. I think that's what's going on here personally, okay? But also at the same time... Um, She's a criminal, right? I mean, let's keep it 100. It is very obvious that the allegations against this woman are more than likely true. And uh, it seems like the FBI just watched a bunch of news clips and, and they just started asking questions about everything that they watched from some of these local news stations that have done such a great job covering this mayor, right? And this is why I say, you know, when it comes to journalism in this country, this is real investigative journalism, right? Where, you know, they didn't really take a side. They just asked the questions and lo and behold, the questions and the response or the lack of responses from Tiffany Henyard kind of spoke for itself. And lo and behold, now you have an investigation from the feds and the investigation is now targeting Tiffany Henyard for certain, which means that <laughs> she's probably screwed. Okay. They're, they're probably definitely going to uh, nail her because at the end of the day, I mean, the corruption's too obvious and in your face. So I'm just waiting for her to claim that is racist right i'm waiting for her to come out and say she's being politically persecuted that this is an attack against black women right in this country i'm just waiting for her to pull the victim card okay because we know that is coming we know that it's coming okay she is about to play the biggest victim card ever right we know it's coming okay we know as soon as that indictment hits okay as soon as the charges drop she will be boohoo whining and crying, okay, saying everybody's racist, that black people turned on her, that they hate women, et cetera, et cetera. That's what she's going to do, bro. That's exactly what she's going to do. But hey, I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> I can't wait. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.